Sinisimula natin ang pag-alala sa misteryo ng pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon sa pagdiriwang natin ng misa ng huling hapunan. Subalit, mas angkop na tawag sa misang ito bilang pagmimisa sa pagtatakip silim sa paghahapunan ng Panginoon. Mas mauunawaan natin ang diwa ng pagdiriwang na ito sa angkop na tawag o pangalan ng pagdiriwang na ito. Subalit itinutuon natin ang ating pansin sa paghahapunan ng Panginoon kasama ng kanyang mga alagad. Dito, ginugunita natin ang pagkakatalaga ng banal na Eukaristiya bilang isang sakramento. Ang rito ng paghuhugas ng paa ay bahagi lamang ng homiliya sa kung saan pinapaalala sa atin ang tungkulin nating maglingkod sa mga pinakaaba gaya ng ginawa ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad. Maaari nating sabihin na ang rito ng paghuhugas ng paa ay isang homily in action na kung saan ipinapaalaala sa atin ang pamanang tungkulin sa atin ni Jesus na magibigan at maglingkod sa bawat isa. Manalangin tayo, ama naming mapagmahal. Matapos ang panalangin pagkatapos tanggapin ang komunyon, hindi isinasagawa ang huling pagbabasbas, kundi ipinoprosisyon ng maringal ang Santisimo Sakramento patungo sa tabernakulong nakalaan sa pagtatago nito na tinawag ding Altar of Repose. Ang tabernakulong ito ay inihahanda at iba sa ordinaryong tabernakulong pinaglalagakan nito. Matapos ito ay inaanyayahan ang sambayanan na magtanod at manalangin sa banal na sakramentong nakalagak dito. Sa pagtatanod natin bilang bayan ng Diyos, para din nating sinasamahan si Jesus sa kanyang pananalangin sa halamanan bago siya dakpin at iharap sa mga pariseyo at eskriba. Matapos malagak ang banal na sakramento, tinatanggalan ng mantel, kandila at bulaklak ang altar at dambana.
before the Mass. Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect. Sinisimula natin ang pag-alala sa misteryo ng pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon sa pagdiriwang natin ng misa ng huling hapunan. Subalit, mas angkop na tawag sa misang ito bilang pagmimisa sa pagtatakip silim sa paghahapunan ng Panginoon. Mas mauunawaan natin ang diwa ng pagdiriwang na ito sa angkop na tawag o pangalan ng pagdiriwang na ito. Subalit itinutuon natin ang ating pansin sa paghahapunan ng Panginoon kasama ng Kanyang mga alagad. Dito, ginugunita natin ang pagkakatalaga ng banal na Eucharistia bilang isang sakramento. Ang rito ng paghuhugas ng paa ay bahagi lamang ng homilia sa kung saan pinapaalala sa atin ang tungkulin nating maglingkod sa mga pinakaaba gaya ng ginawa ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad. Maaari nating sabihin na ang rito ng paghuhugas ng paa ay isang homily in action na kung saan ipinapaalaala sa atin ang pamanang tungkulin sa atin ni Jesus na magibigan at maglingkod sa bawat isa. Manalangin tayo, ama naming mapagmahal. Matapos ang panalangin pagkatapos tanggapin ang komunyon, hindi isinasagawa ang huling pagbabasbas, kundi ipinoprosisyon ng maringal ang Santisimo Sakramento patungo sa tabernakulong nakalaan sa pagtatago nito na tinawag ding Altar of Repose. Ang tabernakulong ito ay inihahanda at iba sa ordinaryong tabernakulong pinaglalagakan nito. Matapos ito ay inaanyayahan ang sambayanan na magtanod at manalangin sa banal na sakramentong nakalagak dito. Sa pagtatanod natin bilang bayan ng Diyos, para din nating sinasamahan si Jesus sa kanyang pananalangin sa halamanan bago siya dakpin at iharap sa mga pariseyo at eskriba. Matapos malagak ang banal na sakramento, tinatanggalan ng mantel, kandila at bulaklak ang altar at dambana. our Eucharistic celebration. Sa piting ng aking 
Panginoon, tayo lagi at itipon upang matutumang mahalang sa pag-ibig na nakamtan. Buhay ay inialay niya sa dakilang Diyos na Pagbibigayan Habang buhay at ingatan Ang tapat niyang samahan Sa pigilang ating Panginoon Tayo'y laging natitipon In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, this afternoon we begin the Paschal Triduum, the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. On this most holy hour, Jesus left us a memorial of two symbolic gestures of his love for us, the giving of his own body and blood in the form of bread and wine, and his act of washing the feet of his disciples. These two remind us that the supreme act of love is manifested through total self-giving of oneself. For the beloved, just as what Jesus did when he freely offered his life on the cross for our sake and to challenge us to strip away our clothes of self-entitlement, honors, and pride and to serve one another out of love for each other and out of love for God. And so, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins 
and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This man shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. The same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay, and the presence of all His people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, 
unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to, wa to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, and put his garments back on and reclined the table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that, as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. We have ended the season of Lent with the celebration of the Lord's Supper. We start the period of the Easter Triduum, the most important feast in the church. Lent prepared us for this. We celebrate it in three days, this Easter Tiduum, this evening till Saturday night, till Sunday evening. Ito yung sentro ng Misterio Pascual, ang pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay, at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Sana po kasama kayo kahit nasa online lang, sa tatlong araw na ito, na ngayong taon ay gagawin natin ng alas tres ng hapon. Special arrangement ito because of the special times. Dapat ang huling hapunan ay panahon ng hapunan at ang Easter Vigil ay sa gabi na madilim na. Pero may curfew na tayo na consider Kaya inagahan natin. So please remember, 3 o'clock for three days. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Ang huling hapunan ng Panginoong Jesus ay ang pagdiriwang ni Jesus ng kanyang, na kasama ng kanyang mga alagad sa pinakamahalagang hapunan ng mga Hudyo sa kanilang pamilya kada taon. Iyan ang iyong hapunang pampaskwa. Doon nagkakatipon ang mga Jewish families sa lamesa upang gunitain ang paglaya nila sa Ehipto noong panahon ni Moises. Iyan yung binasa natin sa aklat ng Eksodo sa ating unang pagbasa. Nagkakatipon ang pamilya na nakahanda ng umalis at pinagsasaluhan nila ang kordero na nilitson. 
Ang dugo nito ay winisik nila sa mga hamba ng kanilang mga pintuan upang hindi sila pasukin ng kamatayan. The angel of death will pass over them. Kaya pass over meal ang ating ginagawa partaking of the Passover lamb. Not only keeping them from death, but giving them the food necessary to cross to freedom. Our second reading is the oldest account of the Last Supper of Jesus. It is not found among the Gospels, but from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, which was written some ten years before the writing of the first Gospel, that of Mark. Dito, pinaaalalahana ni San Pablo ang mga Kristiyano ng kahalagahan ng kanilang lingguhang hapunan. Noon pa man, nakaugalian na nila na tuwing linggo sila'y nagsasama sa isang hapunan. Medyo naabuso ito ng mga Kristiyano para, sa, para na lang ordinaryong kainan ang ginawa nila. Nasa halip na magkaisa, sila'y nakakanya-kanya na. Ang iba ay labis na busog at ang iba ay nagugutom. Nawawala na ang bahaginan. Sinabi ni San Pablo na itong ginagawa nila ay tinanggap din niya. Ibig sabihin na ito'y kaugalian na nagaling pa sa mga apostol na nanggaling pa kay Jesus. May binago si Jesus sa huling hapunan sa kinaugay ang mga, ng mga Hudyo. Sa halip na makinabang sa karne ng kordero, sila'y nakinabang sa katawan ni Jesus sa anyo ng tinapay. Maliwanag ang salita ng Panginoon. Ito ang aking katawan para sa inyo. Gawin niyo ito bilang pag-alaala sa akin. Ang dugo na nagligtas sa kanila ay hindi na dugo ng kordero, kundi dugo ni Jesus. Ito na ang dugo ng bagong tipan na ibinuhos para sa atin. Itong pag-aalay ni Jesus na kanyang katawan at dugo para sa atin sa hapunan, ay magaganap sa susunod na araw sa Kalbaryo. Talagang ang kanyang katawan at dugo ay ibinigay doon para sa atin. Kaya mahigpit ang kaugnayan ng ating banal na misa sa nangyari kay Jesus sa Kalbaryo. Kaya sa bawat misa natin, nandoon ang larawan ni Jesus na nakapako sa krus. Ang pinakapagsamba natin sa Diyos ay ang pag-aalay ni Jesus. Sa Kalbaryo, pinahiwatig sa atin ang kasamaan ng kasalanan. It brings unnecessary suffering even to the innocent. But at the same time, Calvary stands for God's commitment to us in love. Tinanggap ni Jesus ang lahat Alang-alang sa atin, si Jesus na nakapako sa krus ay ang pinaka-assurance natin na hindi tayo iiwan ng Diyos, na mahal niya tayo unto death. Sinabi ni San Juan sa ating Gospel, He loved His own in the world and He loved them to the end. Isa lang ang pag-aalay ni Jesus sa Kalbaryo. Hindi na ito mauulit. It has eternal value. Sa bawat misa ay pinapasa ngayon natin. We make present among us the one sacrifice of Jesus on Calvary. Kaya ganyan kahalaga ang misa para sa atin. We come in the presence of the sacrifice of Christ. It is the same sacrifice of Christ in Calvary and on our altars. Kaya dahil sa pandemya, 
nanonood na lang tayo sa misa. Pero dapat sa puso natin, nandiyan yung desire, yung pananabik to participate physically in the Mass. Our online Mass is a pure, poor substitute of the real physical participation in the Holy Eucharist. At the moment, we are constrained to watch the online Masses. But please, do not lose the fire, the desire to be physically present when it is possible and to really receive the body of Christ into our own body. Among the four Gospels, only in the Gospel of John do we not have the narration of the consecration of the bread and wine. Maring hindi na ito isinama ni Juan sa kanyang Gospel, dahil sa alam niya na ito ay kasama na sa ibang Gospels. Tandaan natin na ang Gospel ni John ang huling Gospel na isinulat. Maaring some 30 years after the Gospel of Mark, Mayroon siyang kwento ng Last Supper, pero sa halip na institution of the Eucharist, siya lang ang may kwento ng paghuhugas ni Jesus ng mga paa ng mga apostol. Ang paghuhugas ng paa ay ang gawain ng pinakamababang alipin. Kapag may dumadating na bisita, sinasalubong siya ng alipin. at hinuhugasan ang kanyang paa bilang tanda ng hospitality. Magandang pansinin ang sinabi ni John. During the supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into His power and that He had come from God and was returning to God, He rose from supper, took off His outer garments, He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Alam ni Jesus ang kapangyarihan na ibinigay sa kanya ng Ama. Alam niya na siya ay galing sa Diyos at babalik sa Diyos. Alam na alam niya ang kanyang kadakilaan. Pero hinugasan niya ang paa ng kanyang mga alagad. Ang kapangyarihan ay ginamit niya Hindi, hindi upang siya'y paglingkuran at pahalagahan, kundi upang mag-serve sa iba, tulad ng pagsiserve ng isang mababang alipin. Kaya pagkatapos ng paghuhugas, maliwanag na kanyang sinabi na ang ginawa niya ay dapat nilang gawin sa isa't isa. Ito ay halimbawa na dapat nilang sundin. Maghugasan sila ng paa. Mag-serve sila sa bawat isa. May ritual din tayo ng paghugas ng paa pagkatapos ng humiliya. Hindi sa labing dalawang tao, pero apat lang na representatives ng ating panahon ngayon. Ang isa ay si Father Geoffrey Eborda Jr., isang paring Agustino. Ang mga Agustinians ang naunang misyonero sa Pilipinas. At ngayon inaalaala natin ang pagdating ng pananampalataya sa atin. Parangalan natin ang lahat ng mga misyonaris mula noon hanggang ngayon. Si Ms. Russell Ramos naman ay isang full-time catechist sa Don Bosco Tondo. Kinakatawan niya ang mga magulang, mga guro, mga lolo't lola at mga katikista na nagbabahagi ng pananampalataya sa mga susunod na henerasyon. Si Mr. Ramon Gary Lazaro ay isang kabataan dito sa mass media work ng katedral. Siya ang representative ng mga kabataan at ng mga social media missionaries na nagpapaabot sa atin ng mga banal na pagdiriwang 
sa iba't ibang mga online platforms. Si Sister Venus Marie Pegar ay isang madre ng Sisters of St. Francis Xavier na tinatag ni Bishop Alexander Cardo ng Yangon, Myanmar. Nakikiisa tayo sa mga taga Myanmar na hanggang ngayon ay nakikibaka para sa demokrasya at sa tunay na kapayapaan. Ang paghuhugas ng paa ay ang katumbas para kay Juan ng Institution of the Eucharist. In fact, ito ang kahulugan ng Eucharist. Si Jesus na nag-aalay ng sarili, kaya dapat din tayo mag-alay sa isa't isa. Kung totoo ang pagtanggap natin kay Jesus sa banal na communion, dapat din natin gawin ang ginawa niya. So, the Holy Mass for us is not just a ritual, but it is also a commitment. Dito papasok uli ang ating paksa sa taong ito, gifted to give. We are gifted by Jesus with His body and His blood. Let us also give to others by serving them and sharing with them. Pagkatapos ang uli ng apunan, pumunta si Jesus sa Garden of Gethsemane. At doon, sa matinding panalangin, tinanggap ni Jesus ang kalooban ng Ama para sa Kanya. Bukas, mararanasan natin ang pagpapakasakit ni Jesus. Nagtataka ang tao kay Jesus. Tulad ng nagtataka si Pilato at si Herodes, nakalmado siya sa harap ng mga akusasyon at pang-aabuso sa Kanya. Jesus did not struggle anymore. He struggled on the Mount of Olives in Gethsemane the night before. Ganoon katindi ang kanyang struggle na sinulat ni St. Luke. He was in such agony and he prayed so fervently that his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. Ganon siya katens. Tinanggap niya doon ang kalooban ng Ama at mula noon, mapayapa na ang loob niya. Tinanggap niya na ang lahat ng pasakit sa Kanya. Ang ating misa ngayong gabi ay wawakasan natin ng pagsasama sa Panginoong Yesus sa Kanyang pagdarasal sa Harden ng Gethsemane. Sana hindi niya sabihin sa atin ang sinabi niya kay Pedro at sa kanya mga kasama. Hindi niyo ba ako masasamahan ng isang oras man lang sa pagdarasal? Pray that you will not enter into the test. Kaya mayroon po tayong pagtatanod ng isang oras. Together with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament as we end this Mass. Let us join us and join Jesus. Kahit nasa online, sa isang oras ng panalangin pagkatapos ng misa natin ngayon. We will now commemorate the humble gesture of Jesus when He washed the feet of His disciples.
At the Last Supper, Jesus gave to us the Eucharist as the memorial of His death and resurrection. Let us pray to the Father that we may live the mystery which the Eucharist signifies. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may live and celebrate the Eucharist as the continuation of the Lord's presence, their nourishment on their journey to the Father, and the pledge and foretaste of heaven. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that, that the Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons may find in the Eucharist the consolation to bear their suffering and the courage to remain faithful. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may follow the example of the Lord Jesus, who chose to serve rather than be served, and to give his life for the good of the people. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and infirm may find solace in the Eucharist, 
and unite their suffering to that of Jesus, who remain faithful to the Father. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That there will be a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world. That our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who partook of the Lord's body and blood come at last to eternal life promised in the Eucharist. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, it's time we celebrate the memorial of your cross in this Eucharist. We announce your return in glory when we will be one with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice be ce is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer Himself as the saving victim commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition for Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, 
and that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate, order our days on your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most blessed Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread with his hand and with his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O Lord, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took his precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar Receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
we may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and the rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow the, uh, them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, not worthy that, that you should enter, not enter under, under, my under my roof, but only say the, the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we have renewed by the supper your su of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please all kneel. Most precious Lord, this night you gathered with your apostles to share with them your last meal. But this was no ordinary meal. This was the gift of your most sacred body and blood, soon to be broken and poured out on the cross for the salvation of the world. Allow us, dear Lord, to spend this night in prayer and meditation with you. After the meal, you invited your apostles to join you in the garden 
to stay awake and keep vigil as you prepared for your arrest. The apostles fell asleep, leaving you in your bitter agony alone. We accept your gentle invitation of love, dear Lord, to spend this night in vigil with you. May we enter your heart as it faced the coming persecution you were to endure for our sins. May we console your sacred heart and know the love and mercy that flowed from it. Lord, when we face the crosses of our own life, give us your divine courage and strength to say yes to the will of the Father. Your love for us is abundant and is perfect in every way. Help us to know that love, to embrace it, and to allow it into our life. We make our vigil with you this night, dear Lord. We love you. Help us to love you with all our heart. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen.
let us all stand to listen to the word of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour, Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again, My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing again. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us be seated and spend a few moments of silence in prayer.
let us all kneel for the litany of supplication. We say, we adore you, O Lord. We adore you, O Lord. True God and true man, truly present in this holy sacrament. We adore you, O Lord. Our Savior, God with us, faithful and rich in mercy. We adore you, O Lord. King and Lord of creation and of history, conqueror of... We adore you, O Lord. Conqueror of sin and death. We adore you, O Lord. Friend of humankind and recent one, the living one who sits at the right hand of the Father. We adore you, O Lord. We answer, we believe in you, O Lord. We believe in you, O Lord. Only begotten Son of the Father descended from the heaven for our salvation. We believe in you, O Lord. Heavenly Physician, who bows down over our misery, we believe in you, O Lord. Lamb who was slain, who offer yourself to rescue us from evil, we believe in you, O Lord. Good Shepherd, who give your life for the flock which you love, we believe in you, O Lord. Living bread and medicine for immortality, who give us eternal life. We, we believe, believe in you, you O Lord. Lord. We answer, deliver us, O Lord. Deliver, deliver us, us, O Lord. Lord. From the power of Satan and the seduction of the world, deliver, deliver us, us, O Lord. Lord. From the pride and presumption of being able to do anything without you, deliver, deliver us, us, O Lord. Lord. From the deceptions of fear and anxiety, deliver, deliver us, us, O Lord. From unbelief and desperation, deliver, deliver us, O Lord. Lord. From hardness of heart and incapacity to love, deliver, deliver us, us, O Lord. Lord. We say, save us, O Lord. Save, save us, O Lord. Lord. From every evil that afflicts humanity, Save, Save us, us, O Lord. Lord. From hunger, from famine, and from egoism. Save, Save us, O Lord. Lord. From illnesses, epidemics, and the fear of our brothers and sisters. Save, Save us, us, O Lord. Lord. From devastating madness, from ruthless interests, and from violence. Save, Save us, us, O Lord. Lord. From being deceived from false information and the manipulation of consciences. Save, Save us, us, O Lord. Lord. We say, comfort us, O Lord. Comfort, comfort us, O Lord. Lord. Protect your church which crosses the desert. Comfort, comfort us, O Lord. Lord. Protect humanity terrified by fear and anguish. Comfort, comfort us, us, O Lord. Lord. Protect the sick and the dying, oppressed by loneliness. Comfort, Comfort us, O Lord. Lord. Protect doctors and healthcare providers, exhausted by the difficulties they are facing. Comfort, Comfort us, O Lord. Lord. Protect politicians and decision makers who bear the weight of having to make decisions. Comfort, Comfort us, O Lord. Lord. We say, grant us your spirit, O Lord. Grant us your spirit, O Lord. In the hour of trial and from confusion, grant us your spirit, O Lord. In temptation and in our fragility, grant us your spirit, O Lord. In the battle against sin and evil, Grant, Grant us, us your spirit, spirit, O Lord. Lord. In the search of what is truly good and true joy. Grant, Grant us your spirit, spirit, O Lord. In the decision to remain in you and in your friendship. Grant, Grant us your spirit, spirit, O Lord. 
we say, Open us to hope, O Lord. Open, Open us, us to, to hope, hope, O Lord. Lord. Should sin oppress us, Open, Open us, us to hope, hope, O Lord. Lord. Should hatred close our hearts, Open, Open us, us to hope, hope O Lord. Lord. Should sorrow visit us, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should indifference cause us anguish, Open us to hope, O Lord. Should death oppress us, Open us to hope, O Lord. We pray in front of Jesus, the Oratio Imperata, for protection against COVID-19. Merciful, Merciful and, and compassionate, compassionate Father, we come, come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us, Give us the, the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May, May our, our concern, concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Sa 